Oh yes, boys, yes, we are fucking back again, and we are doing Burzum, bloody Dunkel height. Woo. So yeah, boys, I've never actually listened to Burzum at all. I know that they are seminal, bloody black metal. I know that they are a pillar in the subgenre, and that Vog is a bloody legend. And uh, I don't mean that in a particularly ethical sense, of course. I mean, yeah, not quite that. But uh, anyway, so yeah, boys, I'm expecting some tremolo pick guitars. I'm expecting some bloody fast tempos and just fucking darkness, basically. So too easy. Let's just jump into this one. See how we go, boys. Wow! <laughs> There's more static than a fucking guitar riff here, I reckon. This goes so hard, man. With the fucking drumming especially, man. So eerie with the fucking synth leader's wall or whatever that is now. Fucking love the tempo. I love the fucking sustain on the notes of riffs. I mean the lingering fucking yeah, static. I don't know how you achieve that guitar tone, man. It was like a TV signal gone awry. Love the repetitive nature of it as well. It's just so immersive now. It's so weird with the synth line here because it's such a fucking counterpoint like a polar opposite to the you know drenched guitar leads and scratchy vocals and uh even the bloody i suppose hi-hat hits and crash single hits they feel so fucking obscured by static man whereas the synth lead here is so clear
I fucking love this song, boys. I'm telling you straight up, I fucking love this. I just want to listen to more fucking Burzum now, man. Very unique. Very unique, man. So much fucking distortion and shit, man. I just can't believe it. And it works so well. variations in the drumming as well. Come on, just go for another round, man. Oh, well, there you go, mate. Fine. Have it your way, mate. This was just dirty, though, man. This was just so sick. I mean, I fucking loved every part of the production. It was so raw. It was so atmospheric. As you could probably tell, I was just immersed in the atmosphere created by the guitar leads alone, let alone the bloody vocals, which acted, you know, as a sort of supporting role, I think, with the bloody distortion and static and just how it swashed behind the bloody guitar leads and even the drumming and the backdrop as well was just perfect with the tempo. And you know, with these sort of songs, you know, I would be like, oh, I need a fucking tempo switch up. I need a fucking variation in like maybe a musical passage at some point, maybe a fucking solo. But for whatever reason, the atmosphere was just so immersive that it didn't really need any of those technical embellishments or traditional parts of a song structure, which I typically enjoy. I will say though, the, uh, organ or the synth line or the keyboard line, I'm not sure exactly what it was, but it was very much a counterpoint to the bloody static and distortion of the rest of the song. I will say it is an interesting artistic choice to use that as a texture. Some of Ulva's later material uh, does sound quite influenced by just that synth line alone and just, uh, you know, that weird sort of mixture of black metal and uh, that dark synth pop just sort of coming together in this weird style. I mean, I do enjoy it. It's very interesting, but uh, I do wonder what uh, this would have been like without that little synth line and maybe instead just a fucking saxophone, mate. <laughs> so yeah, boys, this was right up my alley. Now, all I want to fucking do is listen to some more Burzum and bloody uh, just immerse myself in some more Dunkelheit Jungs. So, uh, there you go. Too easy. I'll just fucking catch you in the next one. It's that simple. If you want to support me, you can buy my book and, uh, do whatever the fuck you want. I appreciate the likes and the feedback, mate. Too easy. I'll just catch you in the next one. It's that simple. All right, then. Fucking yes, Colin. Fuck yes, man. Wow! <sighs>